Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm really excited today because I'm going to be doing a guest bathroom tour. I'm in my new home and I have so much shopping to do, so I'm really excited to get going with it. With this um, bathroom tour, you're going to be seeing some DIYs, some things where I shop my own home and even, um, you know, purchase some items, of course. And with DIYs, I even have um, a mosaic wall art that it's like a pure one dupe that I did. So we'll get into that a little later on. But I'm not going to do a long introduction. I'm going to get right into it. This bathroom is actually um, right off my office, which is awesome. But there are no lights, so I did need some items that would be reflective, that would be light and bright. So I got this shower curtain that's a crisp white and an iridescent silver foil, which is absolutely awesome because it's reflecting the light just like I thought it would. And I paired it with these really cute whimsical shower curtain rings that I actually showed both of these items in a previous decor haul. I, re I have really high ceilings, so I'm really happy that it's reflecting the light as well as it is. And it just lightens and brightens the room really nicely. Then what I also did was I ordered some really cute uh, wall decor, these Tripar Sunbursts, if you're interested, from Amazon. They were only $12 and they had a 5% coupon when you put it in your cart when you're checking out. And if you have Amazon Prime, trust me it's awesome you have free shipping all the time and it comes within a, a day or two and it really goes well with the shower ring so I really like those items and I'm glad that I took a chance on that shower curtain after all so when your guests are coming over you want them to feel welcome and when they come in sometimes they forget items so I try to keep extra items on hand like toothbrushes and such also facial tissues of course but when they're bathing and showering, you want them to feel pampered. And one of my favorite things are essential oils. This in particular is from Bath & Body Works. It's from their aromatherapy line. It's stress relief. And it's by Bath & Body Works. So you, it's like eucalyptus and tea. If you put it on when you get out the shower or the bath, it's so luxurious. But when you put it in your bath water, oh my God, you are transported. I also have some nice Hydro Boost facial masks. I'm obsessed with these guys. They're awesome. You got to try them. It's only a few bucks and it's great to pamper yourself sometimes and just have, you know, that me time so you can give that to your guests. Of course, I have body scrubs and sprays for, you know, when people do things in the bathroom. And of course, extra hand towels always. You always have to have a lot of soft towels. Now these, I actually DIY, believe it or not. I did um, go to Walmart, pick them up at a very inexpensive price and they're very budget friendly and I brought them home and blinged them out and if someone uses them I'm not going to be upset because I got them from Walmart and I just went ahead and just added a little bit of sparkle and brightened them up. For my vanity I have really did some decor choices that I wasn't sure about but once I put all of the items together and did a little bit of shopping of my own home I absolutely love it that white cabinet is just a medicine cabinet but the first thing that I want to talk about is this beautiful textured modern look vase it's so cute I didn't want anything too heavy I like the way the shape with the center being absent and void but it's so pretty and it reflects the light once again and I love the texture of it and I just added some simple white greenery for a touch of flora with that open design I just love it so pretty but so simple So for my tray and my other items, there are going to be some DIYs there also, like these soap dispensers. Just a simple DIY I did for just adding a little bling so they're not just everyday soap dispensers. I didn't want to purchase them, so I actually did it myself with some decoupage and some glitter and a little bit of crushed glass. 
and it gives a nice pop to your soap dispenser and such. So for my tray, I actually have a silver leaf tray to hold all of my apothecaries and candles and decor. And I scaled it to fit my single sink vanity in my guest bathroom because it's sort of small, you know, it's not two sinks. But it also picked up these wonderful apothecaries to hold the bathroom staples like cotton balls and Q-tips. And they look really clean and really fresh, so I love that. And then I paired those with my signature color, which is just a peacock blue, or some people like to call it teal. And that color, basically, I did with some Luminar tea candles inside of it. And I just decoupaged them that color and silver also. Really cute and really easy and really, really inexpensive and budget-friendly, which I love. This right here is from Bath & Body Works, and it's just a candle holder. It's crystal and it's so cute. I love the vine leaf that it has on it. And I just put a little bit of greenery on the tray also, just to bring in the outdoors. So I love DIYs. This is a pumpkin that I'm probably going to change out. It has a luminaire light in it because we're about to change the holidays and I'm going to be bringing in holiday decor. I know Thanksgiving didn't get here yet, but you know how it is, guys. <laughs> I'm always itching for the next holiday, so I'm going to probably be removing the pumpkin and putting some, you know, holiday decor there. These are DIY candles that I just wrapped in regular bling paper. You can see I glittered out and put some, <laughs> put some bling wrap on that other candle holder. That I, that's basically from um, the dollar store. These other two items... I actually shop my home for but all the candles have been DIY'd and either bling wrapped or decoupage with glitter just to bring in that whimsical look and just make it so glam which I love but on a budget Yeah, so the pumpkin is just so iridescent with the candle light in it. I'm definitely going to probably get another item. Now the candle in that Bath & Body Works candle holder, by the way, smells so good. It's white thyme and um, basil. Oh God, it smells amazing. So this is a DIY I did. It's like a um, Pure One mosaic wall art dupe. When I did this, I wasn't thinking about filming it like an idiot. Otherwise, I would have been able to show you guys how I did it and how, you know, how it worked out and everything. But you can see it's not perfect, but if you're not right up on it, it does really look good. It took me a while because I was experimenting, so I'm really thinking about maybe trying to do this and duplicate it again, but just probably better and um, I did it with stick glass instead of you know the stick and peel glass instead of actually um, and trust me it's mirrors you can cut yourself but I didn't do take the time to get the real mirrored glass and the glass cutters but I have purchased those items I just have to have and find the time to actually cut them all down and then get my myself together with all of the material I need to actually do it again but I will definitely do that and I won't forget to go ahead and record the whole process so that way you'll go guys will know how to make this because it's always nice to share when you're doing DIYs and yeah so definitely will try to go ahead and you know go ahead and record it this time like I should <laughs> so the next thing I would like to show you is just the lighting and the base of the vanity the lighting is just the lighting that came um, with the bathroom that we chose. We wanted something simple that would be able to transition with whatever decor we have and we didn't want to have to go through the process of changing it out in a few years. And as far as the storage on the vanity, under the vanity, it's a couple of drawers and there's a lot of storage down there, but I didn't really want to get into showing it because I'm not really storing anything under there except for additional tissues. 
however these rugs are awesome I ordered these off of Amazon and they're so soft and cozy and plush and luxurious and when you get out of the shower or the bath it is so nice and it feels so great on your feet oh my god and I haven't washed them yet so I'll let you know how they look after I washed them but I wanted to change the camera lens so you can see that it actually reflects light also it looks like it's gray but it also has like a like a, a little bit of a silver color to them so thank you all guys thank all of you for watching I really appreciate it I would love for you to come back and see my next videos on my decors tours DIYs and also shop with me's please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time